chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again we will now take up certain questions on pythagoras theorem centroid in center orthocenter and all these points of a triangle these questions have been taken from the previous years question papers and they are definitely tough and of exam level let us start solving our first question the question says if a and b are two sides adjacent to the right angled triangle and p is perpendicular drawn to hypotenuse from the opposite vertex then what is the value of p square let us draw a diagram first which will be helpful to us so a and b are two adjacent sides and this is the hypotenuse and p is perpendicular drawn to the hypotenuse from the opposite vertex so let me draw this as 90 degrees from here a perpendicular has been drawn here and p is the perpendicular p is the length of the perpendicular so we have to find out the value of p square this question can be done in a number of ways if this chapter is of pythagoras then i will first of all solve it by using the pythagoras theorem the question will become a bit longer on that but a shorter solution by using trigonometry is possible which also i will give after this solution so first of all we'll take up by the pythagoras theorem if this is the complete triangle then one right angle triangle is this one one right angle triangle is this one one right angle triangle is this one we can spot three right angle triangles in this figure we'll apply pythagoras theorem to all of them and that will ultimately help us reach the value of p square now if i apply pythagoras theorem to the outermost triangle then i will have to assume that the length of the third side is c and i will i will also have to apply the pythagoras theorem to this triangle so in that case i will need the length of this side also so obviously i can make certain assumptions at the start i will assume that the length of this part is k the length of this part is c minus k so the length of the entire part will become c c minus k plus k will make it c and i will now be able to apply pythagoras theorem to all the three triangles that i see in this figure there was no other way of proceeding in this question without taking this side as k this as c minus k so that entire becomes c because i have three triangles and i have to have all the three sides with me so i start by assuming this to be k and this to be c minus k okay let us now apply pythagoras theorem one by one to all the three triangles that we see in this figure first of all take this triangle in this case hypotenuse is a square one side is p the other side is c minus k so let us write c minus k whole square plus p square is equal to a square this is pythagoras theorem applied on this triangle this equation i will obtain the value of k first so that i have some values available to me when i go further to simplify the things i am extracting k because k has to be removed from the final expression 
बिकॉज द फाइनल एक्सप्रेशन हैज टू डिपेंड ऑनली ऑन ए एंड बी विच हैव बिन गिवन टू अस फॉर रिमूवल ऑफ सी आई नो दैट द एंटायर पाइथागोरस थियरम विल हेल्प मी रिमूव सी बिकॉज सी ए एंड बी आर लिंक्ड सो आई विल ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस फॉर स्मॉल के सो वट आई डू इज सी माइनस के होल स्केयर इज इक्वल टू ए स्केयर माइनस पी स्केयर टेक पी स्केयर टू द अदर साइड विच इम्प्लाइज सी माइनस के इज इक्वल टू स्केयर रूट ऑफ ए स्केयर माइनस पी स्केयर आई हैव टेकन द पॉजिटिव स्केयर रूट बिकॉज द लेंथ विल बी पॉजिटिव सी माइनस के इज नोन टू बी अ पॉजिटिव नंबर सो आई विल नॉट यूज प्लस माइनस हेयर आई हैव टेकन द पॉजिटिव वैल्यू सो फ्रॉम हेयर आई विल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ के सो आई विल कीप इट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ इक्वेशन वन नाउ लेट एस अप्लाई द पाइथागोरस थ्योरम टू दिस पार्ट हेयर वी कैन सी दैट के स्केयर प्लस पी स्केयर विल बी इक्वल टू द हाइपोटिन्यूज ऑफ दिस ट्राइंगल के स्केयर प्लस पी स्केयर इज इक्वल टू बी स्केयर विच इम्प्लाइज के स्केयर इज इक्वल टू बी स्केयर माइनस पी स्केयर टेक पी स्केयर टू द अदर साइड विच इम्प्लाइज के इज इक्वल टू स्केयर रूट ऑफ बी स्केयर माइनस पी स्केयर दिस इज इक्वेशन टू दैट आई हैव ऑप्टेन सो फार Now this is c minus k equal to this, and this is k equal to this. Let us add both the equations. When we add, this k and k will cancel out. So one of my problems will be solved. See what I mean by it. Adding one and two, we get. So add them. This k and k cancels. C will be left on the left side. We get c is equal to, and these will be added. Square root of a square minus p square plus square root of b square minus p square. So this equation doesn't have k. And to remove c, I know that this entire length is c. And square of c is equal to a square plus b square. So now to remove c, I will square both the sides. Squaring both the sides, we get c square equal to square root of a square minus b square plus square root of b square minus b square whole square. now we can open this i will write it as square of this one x plus y whole square square of this one will be a square minus p square and square of this one will be b square minus p square plus 2ab so i will write it as 2a square minus p square into Square root of b square minus p square, which implies c square is equal to this a square and b square can be combined. P square and minus p square will combine to minus two p square plus two square root of a square minus p square into square root of b square minus p square. so i will make a small space here now c square is known to be equal to a square plus b square so this is c square and this whole story will cancel out i can take this minus 2p square to the right side so i will write 2p square equal to 2 into square root of a square minus p square Into square root of b square minus p square. We can cancel this two out, and again square both the sides. Again square. So we will get p raised to the power four is equal to a square minus p square into b square minus p square. 
which is equal to I'll open a square multiplied by b square will be a square b square a square with p square will be minus a square p square similarly minus p square b square and plus p raised to the power 4. So what we have is p4 is equal to this quantity. Now we can remove p4 and let us now take up this sum to the left side and if you see p square is common so when I take it to the left side, I can take p square common into a square plus b square is equal to a square b square. So this was both of them became plus and p square was taken common, which implies p square is equal to a square b square by a square plus b square, which is the answer. I already told you at the start of this solution that with Pythagoras theorem this was going to be longer but the purpose of doing this is so that you learn something in this. These things they help you get rid of your fear of seeing bigger expressions. So what I would suggest is don't ignore this solution. Try to solve this on your notebook and let us see whether you can solve it that would help you a lot. But let me come to the shorter shortcut method of solving this problem. Let me take that one. So let me draw the figure again. This is the figure that I am drawing here. This is A, this is B, this is a 90 degrees and a perpendicular has been drawn and called P. Let us call this angle as theta then this triangle is 90 degrees is already given to us. This angle will be 90 minus theta and therefore this angle will also be theta. So basically this angle and this angle, this angle and this angle are equal. Now let us apply trigonometry to this triangle we can see that P is equal to B sine of theta which implies sine theta is equal to P by B. This is one equation that I get. Now let us apply trigonometry to this triangle. In this case P is equal to B, B is equal to A a cos theta which implies cos theta is equal to p by a as equation 2. So we will scare this equation, scare this equation and add them up. The square of this will become sin square theta. This will get added to cos square theta equal to the square of this will be p by b whole square plus this will be p by a whole square. Now we know sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1. So it is equal to, so this will be if I write it in this form p square by b square plus p square by a square. We, I can take a square b square as LCM and p square can be taken common. So on top I will have b square plus a square, a square plus b square which implies, so this is entirely 1, a square b square will go to other side and this sum will come down which implies p square is equal to a square b square by a square plus b square. The same answer that we obtained by using the Pythagoras theorem. Let us now move on to our next question. A brick 2 inch thick is placed against a wheel to act for a stop. So basically what we have been given is a wheel is there. This could be its center and a brick has been placed at 
this point like this and this is the ground we can say so we are marking it the ground like this i can draw this as the radius r and similarly this will be also the radius r so let us see what is further there a brick 2 inch thick so this height is already given to us as 2 inch is placed against a wheel to act for a stop the horizontal distance of the face of the brick from the point where the wheel touches the ground is 6 inch so this is the point where the wheel is touching so this distance has been given to us as 6 inch this distance is given to us as 6 inches the radius of the wheel is what so let us assume the radius as r and since this is 6 inches we'll do a small construction we will make this line here as 6 inches and this height this height will become r minus 2 because the entire height is r and 2 inches already the height of the brick so this portion will be r minus 2 and this will be 6 and another thing if i join this to this then this is also the radius of the circle center to the circumference so basically i have this small triangle for which r minus 2 r and 6 are the sides so we can draw this small triangle separately also to understand things more this is r minus 2 this is r and this is 6 this is a right angled triangle because this is tangent and perpendicular so this is also perpendicular so this was 6 inches the distance of the touching point to this was 6 inches this height is r minus 2 because out of total r 2 inches of the height of the brick is there and this is the radius and therefore we obtain this as our triangle by pythagoras theorem r square the square of hypotenuse should be equal to 6 square plus r minus 2 whole square this is by pythagoras theorem now let us open this which implies r square is equal to 6 square will become 36 plus this will become r square minus 2 r into 2 minus 2 ab plus b square this is b so a minus b whole square this opens this one and we get r square is equal to 36 plus r square minus 4 r plus 4 this is what we get which is equal to r square minus 4 r plus 40 36 and 4 have been combined r square is equal to r square minus 4 r plus 40 take this r square to the other side this will become minus and when it becomes minus this r square will cancel out we will get 0 equal to minus 4 r plus 40 which implies take 4 r to that side 4 r is equal to 40 which implies r is 40 by 4 which is equal to 10 centi 10 inches is the answer this question involved correct drawing of the diagram and then using the plain mathematics for solving this equation and finally slowly and slowly we reached our answer which is 10 inches let us take our next question now